but there we go. This is what I wanted to start with. Uh, 70% of developers say they are concerned about the sustainability of the live service model, according to a new survey. Um, as part of a new survey carried out by game developers, 600 developers were interviewed between February and March and asked Thanks a number of questions now. about now business models and monetizations in video loss. games. Shout out to JJ Adventure with the sub. Participants were asked how concerned they were about the sustainability of live service business models commonly being used today. Of those asked, 39% said they were somewhat concerned, while a further 31% said they were very concerned, and a quarter said they weren't concerned, while the remaining four didn't know. Live service games, <laughs> that remaining four is just like, bro, I'm just trying to pay my bills. Uh, live service games are generally defined as those who continue to provide regular content after a game has been released, such as regular seasons with battle passes, for example, in an attempt to keep the player engaged and ultimately encourage continue spending on a game through microtrans. Yeah, we know. Um, so then here's like the data. This doesn't surprise me that most of them are concerned. Do you know why? Because I've been saying on this stream, I be feeling like people be getting angry at the wrong people. If you want to be angry at somebody at social media, y'all need to learn the names of these fucking people that make these decisions. Because like I said, one thing I know about artists is artists want to make good work. And game developers are artists. The art they make is video games. There's no way you can convince me game developers are sitting in their studio saying, <laughs> Rob these niggas! They just want to make a cool game. Maybe there's a couple out there. Like, who knows? Because you can't generalize everybody. But on a balance of probabilities... Most game developers just want to make a dope game, but it's like the, un the the issue is game development is expensive and they need somebody to foot the bill. That's where the investors come in and they start fucking shit up. Uh, you're being clipped. <laughs> so that's so I say y'all need to learn who these the Bobby Kotex are. What's that nigga yesterday who said we need to tip video games? What was his name? Um, tips. Oh, yeah, I think that's the article right there. There we go. This nigga. Y'all need to learn his name. Yabara, whatever the fuck his name is. Tweet. Mike Yabara. There we go. You need to learn the Mike Yabaras of the gaming industry. These are the people who are fucking your... Sh this goofy ass nigga. You know, I just... When I get done playing my $70 game, I just feel like they need another 70 Shut the fuck up, bro. What are you talking about? These are the names y'all need to learn. Like I said, like, like this, this, this notion by some of the dumbass gaming. This is why we need to bring critical thinking and debate classes back to school. That you think that artists are just out here, <laughs> Batman. Like, <laughs> like no, that's the people sitting in the boardrooms making these dumbass decisions, and unfortunately, people's hands get tied behind their back. You know, it's almost like. It's almost like when Lupe was forced to make, um, what was that album? Lasers. Like Lupe wanted to make what he wanted to make, but the record label wanted him to do X, Y, and Z. And that's why we got that shithole album, Lasers. We don't talk about that. We talk about the cool. That's what we talk about in the first album. Um, trying that reverse. Yeah, that's what it is. Reverse psychology. <sighs> don't y'all really want to pay more for this? No, nigga. <laughs> uh, shut your hell, boy. What the fuck is you talking about? So, yeah, like, read all, all I ask is, you know, redirect your energy. The fact that they, they serve it and developers are saying, like, no, we don't like this shit. Be aware of this. Learn to redirect your energy and start. If you want to criticize people, learn who you need to redirect that energy to. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to bring that one up. I wanted to bring that up. Be nice to fucking game developers. Y'all got to chill the fuck out, man. The same thing goes to um, community managers, too. I would. I'm not going to lie. No amount of money. You could pay me to be a community manager on some of these video games, bro. Like, imagine being a community manager for, like, Valorant. Like, one of these big fucking free-to-play games, Apex. Them niggas never shut the fuck up on Twitter. You wake up at 3 a.m. to take a piss, your, your phone, bing, 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 bing. Getting the message from fucking 14-year-old Timmy. Listen, you bitch-ass nigga. Which, by the way, Timmy is some white kid from Indiana. What? Listen, you bitch-ass nigga. You need to fix the fucking sound in Apex. Which they do. But... <laughs> Prototype 3, you copping? Prototype 3. Did I miss something? Who announced that? Prototype 3. Uh, What are you talking about? Did I miss something? Prototype... Prototype 3. Boom, boom, boom. Prototype 3 is now possible two years ago. Uh, 
dun, 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 dun. I don't think that's a thing. I, are you just asking me would I be interested in it? Um, yeah, like if they made one, I'd play it. Prototype one and two were fun. Uh, I think the issue with Prototype is they just didn't sell well, at least the Activision standards. You got to keep in mind, this is published by Activision, the same company that published Overwatch, Call of Duty, uh, World of Warcraft. So when games don't sell like their big three, they look at it as a failure, unfortunately. And I don't believe these games sold well. Very fun. And if they made a Prototype 3, I'm not convinced it would sell well. I think the cult-like audience would buy it, but I'm not convinced it would sell well. It'd be a game that probably benefit from being on Game Pass, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I would like to see one. The gamer in me, but the business side of me, just like logically speaking, I don't think it'll do well. It's just one of those series that just never stuck. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a game that went platinum in the hood, but like general, I don't think the general, I'm very underrated, but the general audiences, I don't think they like, uh, were paying attention to it. I don't even say liked it, but weren't paying attention um but, 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 uh, let's see snes n64 and game boy emulator is now available on iphone it's called delta just making y'all aware of this if you want to emulate uh they're opening up the app store there was an emulator for game boy that came out last week but they took it down because they broke the law but um hold on one second um what about to say uh yeah so then there's a new one on the on the storefront it's called delta and it plays damn near everything in terms of nintendo so that one's better if y'all want to play he said i already got it that's crazy so look up delta if you want to run the emulators on um on your phone one second yeah need a psp emulator too it'll come it'll come keep in mind this is emulators only a week old on iphone it'll come give it us give it some time people are working on it and attach your phone to it hook up your controller to it and it'll be fire 152 uh wait one second uh for god okay psp is a gem here on droid yeah i know that one i've used that before uh bungie's new ip they're working on possibly is heading to mobile devices and a new development bungie the developer behind the iconic titles such as destiny and halo appears to be setting its sights on mobile gaming with its new ip king bing just dropped the link in the chat if you want to download the iphone emulator <clears throat> Keep in mind that that emulator also works on your iPad if you have one. So you could use the iPad to play old games that you never got to play or you want to revisit and you just can connect your Xbox controller to your iPad. That's fire. Put it on a desk. Uh, recent job listings from the studio have sparked speculation that the next big project could have expend, extend beyond traditional consoles and PC to embrace the ever expanding world of mobile games. Now, going back to that conversation we just had about game developers being artists, this just reeks of suits to me. Like, maybe Sony is telling them, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because remember, Sony bought Bungie. And then, and there's been rumors coming out that Bungie regrets buying... I'm not Bungie. Sony regrets buying Bungie because they ain't making no money for them. So I would not be surprised if Sony said, yeah, that game you're working on, uh, let's do PS5 and mobile and PC. <laughs> we need more money um what kind of old games i'm not familiar with emulators you can play anything pretty much they got emulators you could you could emulate switch games n64 ps2 ps3 i think there's a ps4 emulator is fairly new you can play damn near anything allegedly google it it's not hard to do <laughs> um da -da -da -da. the queue lies within bungie's own recruitment efforts where job descriptions hint at a broader platform strategy for instance, the listing of an incubation technical art lead posted earlier this week explicitly mentions optimizing game visuals for performances for performance across all platforms, including PC, console, and notable mobile. But a bit of nah, there ain't no PS5 emulator. Yeah, PS4 emulation is new. It's ass. Anytime, like usually the way emulation works is like if you want PS5 emulation, you won't see that till the PS6 comes out. And then when it first comes out, it's not that good until a couple of years they gotta optimize it. So like the best emulation would be PS3 probably and back. Um, 
PS4 is not quite there, but like, so that's when I say like older games. Uh, people usually use people usually use emulators to play N64 games, PS2 games, and Dreamcast games. I think those are like the big emulators. Um, and but obviously you can play Super Nintendo, NES, all that shit with enhanced frames. Yeah, there's literally like, especially if you play them on PC, you can improve the frame rate. You can improve the visuals. They have upscalers where you can make the games look better than what they did on console. That's why I always joke on this stream. One modern, one modern emulator they have is the Switch one. It's called the Dolphin emulator, allegedly. You can play Tears of the Kingdom 4K 60 FPS on PC, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, the best version of Zelda is not on the Switch, guys. Um, <laughs> look it up, allegedly. Uh, ensure visual aspects of the game are performing across all platforms, PC, console, mobile, the job description reads. Yes, yeah, so I've heard, so I've heard. I know some people in the chat said they played that shit. Uh, but, but yeah, I've been playing Ocarina of Time on my phone. Yeah, just keep in mind if you download an emulator to your phone or your, your iPad, don't use the touch controls. Connect your controller, please. But uh, uh, this is interesting though. Y'all want to want a mobile game from Bungie? I can play everything on my Steam Deck. Yeah, Steam Deck is good for that shit too. Steam Deck is good for that shit. You know, it's funny. I forgot I was fucking live on um TikTok. Y'all niggas good over there? Y'all good, TikTok? Y'all good? It's called Yuzu. See, somebody says the, the Dolphin emulator is called Yuzu, allegedly. They said it in the TikTok chat. Y'all good over here, man? Hit the follow button if you're new. Hit the like button. <laughs> Y'all good? Y'all okay? Um, And Overwatch sucks news. Um, My bad. Does that mean I can play Metal Gear Solid on my iPad at 60 FPS? Depending on which one, yeah. Yeah. Um... Overwatch 2 player. There's a reason people love emulation, my boy. Look it up. Uh, funny enough, like maybe like three, four months ago, I had the itch to randomly play NBA 06. One of my favorite, one of my favorite basketball games was on the PSP. It's called NBA 06. It's because I used to cheat with Joe Johnson. That nigga does not miss in that game. Greens, greens, greens. Um, NBA 2K stole a lot from NBA 06. But anyways, uh, yeah, I downloaded an emulator and I played the I played a PSP game on my my computer using a controller, 60 FPS allegedly. Overwatch 2 players are waiting for an hour in ranked queues, man. Why do you guys keep playing this fucking game? Overwatch 2's 10th season, the season which, by the way, they made all the characters free after you niggas paid for it. All you dumbass niggas paid for that shit. And they didn't reimburse you. It's officially underway, and everybody's pretty happy with the new damage hero venture. Are you happy about the business model? And the fact that they are officially free for everyone after being locked behind the battle pass for over a year. These niggas is happy about this shit. And this, <laughs> here's another problem. Not only are game developers, as a majority, I don't think they like these battle passes and shit and these microtransactions, but then you have gaming communities out here that like to get fucked. The Overwatch community likes to be diddied. And that's why a lot of this time this shit be happening too. I don't understand why these niggas like to get diddied. This is crazy. I think these articles are lying. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know, right? This shit is so unbelievable. Like, yo, is this article lying? You niggas happy you got fucked over, bro? This is why Overwatch porn makes more than the game. Yo, Chris, why do you know that? How? Why do you know the economics of Overwatch porn? I need to, I need to get the backstory on that. Where'd, where'd you get that data from, my boy? Because I didn't know that it made money. I also didn't know it was still a thing. I remember it was like a thing when it first came out. But where did you learn the economics of that, my boy? It's because I make them. <laughs> <laughs> little uh, nude, uh, little nude tracer in that damn gorilla. <laughs> uh, he said, he been, yeah, that nigga on DeviantArt. <laughs> Uh, my, my nigga, <laughs> he said low key. My nigga fucking gave us the low down dirty on the economics of Overwatch porn. Uh, high level Overwatch two players on social media and Blizzard forums are reporting massive queue times and competitive play at the beginning of the season ten. These range anywhere from thirty minutes to well over an hour in some cases. They're so bad, streamers are take are taking to playing other games like Fortnite or Dead by Daylight while waiting because they can start and finish a match in the time it takes for Overwatch 2 to find one. Wow, I want a Fortnite game while in queue for Overwatch ranked if you're wondering how bad ranked has gotten. Thanks for knocking this I'm not gonna lie, like why even tweet about this? 
just don't play the game. Like that's what I'm saying. You just like to get fucked, bro. That's what I'm saying. Just and listen, there's nothing wrong with that. If you like to be fucked, just admit it. If you like the diddler, just say it. Live your truth. But don't sit up here and act like you're making some hard stance. Bruh, nigga, this is unemployed behavior. I'm sorry. You waited an hour to get into a game and then you think putting out a tweet is some type of protest? I, that's an uninstall. Get a job, bruh. Get a fucking job. Uh, isn't the game free to play? Yeah, it's free to play now with season 10. They changed the model to free to play. Uh, like, yeah, turn the game off. Like, this is not a fucking talking point. They like to be diddy, man. I just, I just like slandering the Overwatch community at this point. I really hope that Marvel Rivals succeeds. I really do. When that shit's supposed to come out, when the beta? Oh, this is great. This is fucking great. My very next link is talking about Marvel. This is fucking great. I love a good segue. Uh, so according to Marvel updates, um, da -da 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 -da. there you go. Da -da -da. Sydney Swidney uh, may be casted as Black Cat in Spider-Man 4. That's y'all favorite white woman, isn't it? As the internet likes to say, premium milk. Premium milk. I can actually see it. I can see it. Give her like a little uh, silver uh, wig or whatever. I can see it. I definitely can see it. Um, <laughs> that, that's y'all favorite white woman, right? So apparently she's rumored to be playing Black Cat. <laughs> I don't have any fucking, I don't have any fucking commentary on that. Oh shit! Uh, I think he added a little bit more to it too. Uh, I guess and can, take this with a grain of salt. It's rumored that she will be the main love interest for the movie, but Zendaya will slowly remember who Peter is. The love triangle will happen with MJ and Felicia. Black Cat and her father will have a pass with Kingpin. Damn, this nigga Peter Parker is swirling like a motherfucker, bro. Read the comments. I love this. Black Cat is not Sydney Sweeney. It's Anya Toy Taylor Joy. I don't know who that is. This would be the greatest Spider-Man movie if this happens. Meanwhile, this is the post credit scene. It's a prominent fan cast. Uh... Uh, I cannot wait for her to make her live action debut. If this story is true, I'm down. Sydney's levels above Zendaya. I don't want this. This is sounding cool. Most people seem to like it. See a Trish Walker. Hi, Felicia. Miles and Peter gonna tag team. Yo, chill, red chill. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Keep in mind, this is I've never heard of this account. This account even verified. Um, yeah, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know where the fuck this is coming from. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. we got another rumor from another account i don't trust but this shit keeps popping up on my for you page and i figure for shits and giggles why not talk about it we like the yap right um rumors are that thanos will reportedly return during the multiverse saga of the next avengers phase does anybody care i'm not gonna lie let this nigga die bro uh he had a good run a great run but let him stay in his era. Like, I don't understand the point of bringing him back. Like, Thanks for resubscribing. And then I'm going to take a wild guess, right? Shout out to the sixth guy with the sub. If they do bring him back, it'll be in the same manner they brought back. For, spoiler for those who haven't seen um, Black Panther 2. Killmonger comes back. There's a, there's a moment in the scene where um, Shuri goes into the astral plane. And she thinks she's going to see her brother or, like, her dad or some shit. And she ends up seeing Killmonger. That's why she ends up wearing the gold in her armor. Because that evil ass nigga inspired her. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I feel like if they bring him back, it'll be in the same way. It'll be some shit there on the astral plane or some shit. And then, like, you, and then, and then I, I'm, matter of fact, I'm calling it. It's going to be some, they're going to meet him in another dimension or timeline. Or they're going to be in the astral plane. And he's just waiting there sitting, right? Looking all gangster. And it's going to be the same shit. Look at you, bitch ass niggas. Can't stay away from me. Your failure brought you back again. It's gonna be some shit like that, and then the, the crowd's gonna go crazy. Oh! <laughs> oh, he said the law and all. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good off that. Leave him in the past. My bigger concern is they have confirmed they're moving away from Kang the Conqueror. So, is, is Ant Man Quantum Mania not. Is that not canon anymore? Is is Marvel gonna act like that movie's not real? Are they gonna act like that movie's not real? Uh, also, I saw some other Marvel shit. Let me see if I can find it. It was involving the Illuminati. Uh, I'll just search it right here. I'm always nervous. I don't know what's gonna show up. Marvel Illuminati. 
I don't know if I spelled that right. Illuminani. <laughs> uh, how do you spell fucking Illuminati? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. No, not gaming Illuminati. But who would like what characters were supposed to be in it? It was a rumor. It's not, I can't. I wish I would have saved that damn article I saw come across my timeline. But uh, the reason I wanted to bring it up is because the rumor in the article was there was no so in the comic books Black Panthers and the Illuminati. But the list they had, they had Carol Danvers, aka uh, Mar uh, Captain Marvel. You care about the Fantastic Four movie? Eh, I've never been a big Fantastic Four fan. I I'll watch it, but like I'm not a big fan. I think it's kind of weird to me. Um, yeah, Carol Danvers was supposed to re replace Black Panther in the Illuminati. And I'm like, did they do that because old oh boy passed away and they don't know what to do with Black Panther yet? Doctor Strange, Hank Pym, Reed Richards. Yeah, and Carol Danvers. That was the list. Um, And like, I was cool with everything else. But I was like, eh, Captain Marvel. I feel like they're just putting her there for. I'm not going to say that character sucks. She should not be in the Illuminati. Professor X makes sense. She should not be in the Illuminati. Pick a different chick, bro. She shouldn't be there. Uh, but Black Panther should definitely be there. Uh, because here's the here's the real here's the real Illuminati right here. Well, I, it was like rotating members, but um, nah, she was in it. Oh, she was actually in it in the comic books. Yeah, because it was rotating. You're right. I guess that's what they're going with. Eh. I don't know. I don't know. After the Marvels flopped, like they they really trying to push that character. Uh, shit. Put Pepper Potts in that bitch. Like, <laughs> I'll take Pepper over over fucking Carol, bro. Like, I don't know. Yeah, the floppers. Like, I'm not saying I don't want a chick. I'm saying I don't want her. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fake. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, what else I got for you? Oh, uh, oh, you can sign up for Hades too if y'all want to. You know, they're doing a technical test if you want the link. Another piece of interesting news. I'll be the judge of that, Ronan. Oh my god. Lionsgate is teaming up with Park Chan Wu for an English language series adaptation of the director's action thriller classic Old Boy. I don't know what this is. I don't care. You're banned from posting links. Um, you're banned from posting links. Uh, Nintendo Indie World. But yeah, let me drop that in there. I don't have anything to say other than they're doing a technical test if you want to try it out. They got all the fake news today. All the fake news. <laughs> Old boy was a was a was a wild ass movie. People on the highlights channel is gonna be confused that Ronan came back. How long? I thought he got an infinite band. Little big kitty. Did they have an event today? We got trailers galore. Nah, this game is peak. It was a weak indie show. I mean, I feel like. Yo, they really need to announce the Switch too. The Switch is so dry, bro. It's so bad right now. There's nothing to play on that. What do you do in this? That's all you, Cineblon. I'm not playing playing that. That's all you. Yeah, I'm good off of this. Let's see, Yars Rising. You ever get that feeling? Nope. Something's changed. Get to the game. There's something powerful inside me. Ready to break out? Atari. Atari. That's crazy. Kotech needs to be stopped. Totally should. Join me on a high stakes sci fi action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from WayForward and Atari. Mini Clip Premium. This is a Mini Clip Premium exclusive. Ref refined Self. The creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Coolmathgames.com exclusive. Sticky, sticky business. That's hella ditty. I'm glad we're sticking around for the cozy sim, Sticky Business. Nintendo You've is down. Bad. They're Dr. down. Run. Bad. So let your a game about running a sticker shop. 
And you know what's funny? People be like, yo, you're such an asshole when you talk about these fucking indie game developers. Once again, I do not have to support your business just because you're a small business. I'm supporting it because it's dope and you just so happen to be a small business. And then, yes, every single time, if there's a corporation in a small business and the little man is making something doper than the corporation, I'm going to support it. I want the little guy to win. But there's no way you can tell me you niggas want to play a game about a nigga running a sticker shop. This is insane behavior. Insane. This is not even FullSaleUniversity.com. This is Nickelodeon.com exclusive. Flash HTML5 game. This shit is blurry. It hurts my eyes. I'm gonna find it who did This is crazy, Nintendo. I'm not looking at any more of this shit. The Ninja Turtles is cool. That's about it. I'm, I'm not looking at any more of this shit. Uh, let's go to the sub box. Um, would you play it if they gave you a code? Nope. My time is precious. I am past that point in my life where a free code does anything. Well, I mean, it didn't do anything for me in the first place, but it really doesn't do anything now because these days, the older you get, you always have something to do. You always have something to do. Uh, nah, have I played Pizza Tower? Nah. I heard it's a good game, but nah, I've never played. Oh, and the sweet new Shinnick update. Um, this thing I'm making breakfast sliders. Oh, shit. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis High Wind Update trailer. What is this? World of Warcraft The War Within preview? More World of Warcraft? Content? Thanks for the gifted subs. I would use this money to put some fake chaos emeralds on my. Yo, already did that. My shit real. Shout out to Cozy. Shout out to Cozy T with the ten gifted subs. I appreciate you. Don't let a black man fail. Drop them subs. Dead Island Two official solo launch trailers. New content. Ever Crisis is a mobile game. Say it ain't so. Enter Falkery. Is this a game about playing a a falcon? It almost sounds like fuckery. Uh, let me turn that shit on here. Steam World. Oh, that was part of the. That was part of the Nintendo shit. Gigantosaurus Dino Sports. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Mega Man update for Exo Prime. Oh, we've seen that already. This is shit from Dean yesterday. Um, what up, Scotty? All right, let's look at the new Shonic. All right. Yo, deadass, this game does not look bad. I'm just not playing this shit on Apple Arcade. Make a real console, Apple. Play no, no fucking Apple set top TV ass game. This looks like a fun platformer. What's the name of the Sonic clone you were talking about? Uh, Freedom Planet 2. Freedom Planet 2. This is a mobile game? Yeah, technically, because it's an Apple TV exclusive. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis update. Seven week long limit break campaign ongoing. Woo! Is the gameplay good in this? Why does Apple have a deal for Sonic games right now? Because Sega is poor. Uh, the reality of Sega's financial situation is unless a new Yakuza or Persona game is out this year, they are not making any money. And guess what? There's no Yakuza and there is no Sonic. Oh, wait, no. There was a Yakuza game. Okay, so Yakuza is the only cash flow that they have right now. And when Persona 6 comes out, they'll make some money then too. So in between time, in between Yakuza and Sonic, I mean, no, in between Yakuza and Persona, they release a million Sonic games to keep the lights on. That's why they keep putting, they, they keep pimping him out, bro. He's a fucking whore. Yeah, I did, Rob. I did. this war of warcraft the war within who is playing this game bro oh this is dead island too i'm bugging oh wait did i i closed it world of war i accidentally closed it whoops i wasn't bugging back in 2022 i previewed you know what we about to do 
playback speed 1.5. World of Warcraft's last expansion, Dragonflight. In a press pre-alpha situation, I'm always hesitant to glowingly recommend an entire MMORPG I'm expansion. I'm on Jet Set Radio. Really that and Crazy Play Taxi. Some of its content. But Dragonflight felt exceptional out of the gate, and it was, largely thanks to the transformative new dragon riding mechanic and other major changes that shook off the dust from the widely panned Shadowlands Is anybody in chat play World of Warcraft? Expansion. Blizzard designed like, who's the dragon alive? with bombast in mind, and my very crazy. early experiences zipping around them adequately conveyed the sense of... This is one of the original OG live serve. I mean, MMOs is a period are the original live service games. But this is crazy. Scale and majesty that would carry throughout the entire expansion. Looking at the War Within's pre Same five streamers keeping it alive. White is enraptured. I don't dislike it, to be clear. Largely, it just feels like more World of Warcraft, which is fine. And it's impossible at this stage to say if my muted feelings are because of anything particularly sinful about the new expansion or just because I've seen so little of it. Hey, I'm good off this. She said it's a dragon to ride. Who cares? Yeah, World of Warcraft done it right. I mean, that's why it's still going uh, 20 years later. It literally came out in 2004. That game is literally 20 years old, still going strong. That shit came out when I was in high school. Well, middle school. Well, yeah. Who's ready for the Dead Island 2 update? Sounds of the summer. Sound These weren't even born, and they streaming it now. People still play this, apparently. Yeah, they got the they got Coachella, the um, the what's the name, the influencer Olympics. Zombs. Selfie, 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 selfie. This game was good. Are you are you making a joke or I don't know about good. Lovely. Find other pieces. Yeah, I uninstalled this one. I enjoyed it. Somebody enjoyed it, I guess. I didn't feel like it was worth the wait. It was buggy too. Shout out to them for supporting it still though. I appreciate it, Cam. I appreciate it. I'm getting my pilot's license in a few days. Oh shit. What you about to do? Not first of all, congrats. That's dope. What you about to uh what you about to do now that you got your pilot's license? You trying to become a commercial pilot? Or are you just trying to fly away from the haters and shit? <laughs> what you about to do with that, my boy? Yeah, don't fly Boeing. Gigantosaurus Dino Sports. Welcome to the Giganto Game. Let's welcome our participants. Time for a little refreshment. Oh, this looks awful. Shovelware alert. These are the type of games like your mom would go to the GameStop and buy and she'd see it's like 10 bucks. So she buys it for you. Oh, my son likes dinosaurs. This is only 10 bucks. This is a great steal. Brings it home. Just fucking makes you mad at your mom, your dad and shit. Fucking hate my mom. Brought me fucking Gigantosaurus Dinosports. I wanted Gears of War. Finally, a game we're buying. At the ice dash. For great heights. We're like, what? I thought you liked dinosaurs. I haven't liked dinosaurs since I was seven. I'm fucking 18, Bob. Time. Amazing acrobatics. Now you can say this actually looks like PS2. An up PS2 game. Yeah, we're good off that. What is this? I got Nintendo shit. Soccer Moms and GameStop. Soccer Moms and GameStop is a daily is a, is a deadly comb combination.